Remember when sneakers used to be about buying, trading, and selling? Let's just look at this for example. There's a pair of sneakers you really want and you missed out on. Okay, it happens to all of us. And then there's plenty of sneakers in your collection that you have, maybe you don't wear, maybe you bought specifically for trade bait, but you're not really sure the best way to get rid of them. My advice to you, use your current sneakers as currency to be able to get the actual pairs that you want and you can look no further because Astro X Lab is the perfect trading platform for all of your sneaker needs to really combine what you have, what you want and make that trade happen. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video, Talks with TJ, AKA TJ Two Shoes Change, Two Shoes Crew. What is going on? Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I am super excited to share this one with you. Uh, first off, big shout out again to Ladies Love Sneakers 2. Thank you so much for this t-shirt. This is the one I am rocking. Ladies, if you are interested, I will make sure I leave their link below. Also, men, if you want to get that lady in your life, whether it's mom, girlfriend, wife, sister, whoever is really into kicks, I think this is the perfect shirt that really speaks to her. So this video, oh my goodness. So I don't know if you guys saw on my community tab, I kind of hinted at the fact that I traded away a very coveted Jordan Retro in my collection for one of the most hyped sneakers of the year. Now, nobody really put forth, I think, a lot of effort into guessing what it was, but I'm excited to share with you about it now. Like I said, buying, trading, and selling, that used to be really what sneakers was all about. We all still do the buying part, a lot do more do the selling, but what about the trading? I think StockX and GOAT did a great job of acting as the middleman and taking away a lot of the inconvenience of buying and selling to one another. But what about trading? Because that's part of the big three when it comes to the actual sneaker game, right? Well, Astro X Lab has really taken that upon themselves to be the perfect trading platform for you and I to be able to use the current sneakers we have as currency instead of actual cash to be able to trade for a sneaker we may want. Now we've all been in that position where maybe we have cash on hand, but it needs to be used towards some other things. Maybe some bigger priorities that aren't sneakers. I know, who the heck has priorities that are higher than sneakers? There are these things called rent and all types of other things that kind of come before sneakers, but it doesn't mean that you have to miss out on pairs that you want. I am no different. There was a particular pair of sneakers I really, really wanted that came out this year in 2019 back in September. And let me tell you, I missed out. I had multiple people trying for me and it was a no go. I checked the secondary market on StockX and Go and the price never really dropped below 225, which is what I was willing to pay for it. <sighs> you feel sometimes like, hey, you're just gonna take the ultimate L, not get the sneaker, and I thought maybe, okay, in 2020, maybe I'll finally get the shoe. But, awesome, awesome, awesome. Opportunity happened when Astro X Lab hit me up just to say, hey, thanks so much for supporting our page on Instagram, which I will make sure I link all their information below, but they reached out to say, thank you so much for supporting us on Instagram. Do you by any chance have any pairs in your collection that you're willing to trade or want to trade for some sneakers that you want? And what do you know? I had a few pairs I was willing to trade. Now I don't think my collection is super fire or limited or anything of that nature, but trust me, I had some pairs that I didn't wear and I decided to get rid of. Can you guess what pair? Hopefully you don't flame me for this, but it was the 2013 Air Jordan 1 Retro Bread. That's right, I traded away my 2013 Bread 1. Why? Please don't think I'm crazy. Yes, I traded it away for what's in this box here. Yes, I traded it away. Why did I trade it away? Listen, that was one of the most uncomfortable retros I've ever put on. The leather was stiff, it was just uncomfortable. I wasn't a big fan 
of it, which meant I didn't wear it a whole lot. Now, don't get me wrong, I had a fire lace swap thanks to Stinkerhead's clothing line that provided me premium leather laces for this specific sneaker. I love the way it looked, but it just wasn't a shoe I was comfortable wearing. And what's the point of having heat if you're not gonna wear it? So that being said, I was willing to trade that sneaker away. Now for me to trust Astro X Lab, there are plenty of other well-known sneaker heads that you guys are familiar with that have used this same trading platform to acquire shoes they really wanted from Flight Academy Kicks, Sniper Jones, Unbreakable Kicks, Feats and Treats. I mean, the list goes on and on. And if you follow them on Instagram, you can actually see the different trades that take place and you can interact and say, hey, who do you think won the trade? And I do want to know from you guys by the end of this video, who do you think won the trade? So I think right now we should just go ahead open this box and let you see what sneaker I got. And then I'm gonna tell you just how easy it is to trade with Astro X Lab on their platform. Uh, New Balance has really taken over my closet. Vans had a good run, but New Balance, man, you are really putting in some work. So if you guys remember, I picked up the New Balance 997 Sport. This was the very first New Balance model that I picked up. I was a super big fan of the sport style. It's athletic, but you can still rock it in an athleisure manner. I love the large end cap here that's on the midsole itself. The suede, the material, the different textures that are on this shoe. It just makes me a big fan of the shoe overall and New Balance quality for what you pay is amazing. Now, this particular sneaker, like I said, it was one of the most hyped sneakers of the year. It was selling, well, reselling really, really well to start out with. It has gone down some, but the first version of this that came out sold extremely well. It's still reselling well. And that's right, I'm talking about the New Balance and Bodega collaboration that occurred earlier this year, as well as in September. So the very first one that occurred earlier in 2019 uh, actually was titled No Days Off. And it does feel that way sometimes because I give you guys daily content. So it does feel like I get no days off. But when it comes to this collaboration, the name of it was actually No Bad Days. And that's a really good iteration of how I have to look at things with this past year of life. You can't, I mean, no, I'm not saying there aren't gonna be bad days. You're gonna have some days where you're just like, what am I doing and why? You know, like the little saying on the Instagram filter, why though? You may actually start to feel that way from time to time. It's normal, don't feel bad about it ask the question to yourself why though but the day in itself is not all bad why because i have to remind myself of this too there's always someone going through something way worse than what you are i know it doesn't seem that way at the moment but it's 100 true and to say that i'm able to walk away in 2019 with this sneaker is absolutely amazing and i'm beyond grateful for the trade that happened so let's go ahead and open this up together Oh my. I don't think pitchers did this justice. I really don't. I don't think pitchers did this shoe justice at all in any way, shape or form. So this is the New Balance 997 Sport Bodega No Bad Days. Now every single color that is on this sneaker actually does play a part in the story that it tells from the leather. Now it's a difference. It's more leather than it is suede, but there is the leather that's on the toe here. And then as you move around to the back part, you have this more of a quilted heel design with 997S that is stitched in there. You do have the New Balance on the lateral side that is just in like a golden yellow, but then it's in a black and yellow on the medial side. The tongue as well will boast all three, I guess four colors, red, purple, yellow, and black. You do have the texture here of teal. The inner sock liner is more of a baby blue, which I'm really happy about. I like sock liners that are not white because it means it'll get a lot less dirty and show a lot less dirt. Now the sneakers will come by default and factory laced with gray, but they do offer more than just that. And I'm excited about that, that they do offer different laces. So looking at the laces here, we do have purple and then we also have teal. Which ones we're gonna put in, I'm not really sure. Maybe the purple, just to be bold and out there. I think I might actually put the purple laces in here, but man, I am, 
Oh, and it does come with an Astrolab sticker. Thank you guys so much. Don't you worry, this will definitely go up. Look at that cool little dude. He's rocking some heat on feet. I don't, I don't have heat like him. He's rocking, are those fear got ones? Listen, he got way more heat than I do. But this is the sneaker that I so badly wanted actually right before I started No Coptober, in which I didn't buy any sneakers. It was a letdown that I wasn't able to get these, but you know what? It's letting me know that all my struggles of the year have not gone unseen. I got some blessings coming to me. Uh, so you guys can check out the bottom there. So it does have the absorb, um, what's called the absorb technology or cushion that New Balance uses in their 997 model. The top here is a mesh, which means it will be nice and breathable, which I'm excited about. Let's see what the insole looks like. It does have bodega on the inside. So I think that is a super cool um, insole. Look at all, I mean, just all little touches. So we have like a touch of red there as well. Again, you have the different textures that play on the 997 Sport all of the time and they did not hold back on this. Now, when it comes to this shoe, styling it, I'm gonna be very honest with you, I would say go pretty simple. Just because the shoe is doing so much already, going simple is the best way to go to me. I'm just being honest. So, let's just talk about the actual trading process and how easy it is because it really is a three-step process of how to use the Astro um, XLab trading platform. So number one is you need to actually enter on the site and I'll make sure that's below. But number one, you need to actually enter on the site the sneakers that you have in your collection and the sizes that you are willing to trade and let go of. Number two, you need to enter the sneakers that are on your wish list or the shoes that you would like to have in your collection that you don't have now. And of course, make sure that you include your sizes. The third step, Astrolab X does all of the work. They contact you about potential trades. Their database does all of the work, matching up the actual wants and then the haves, and they pair you guys together to make the perfect trade. Now I'll go a little bit of a step further. You simply pay once you to have decided, hey, I want this trade to go through. You simply pay a small fee, processing fee, and then you pay to ship the shoes off to Astro X Lab once they have authentic these shoes guess what your pair gets shipped to you and just like that you have your brand new pair of sneakers just like I do they arrived on my doorstep today when I'm actually filming this and I cannot wait to get them opened in hand and please know I will be rocking these a lot I love to rock my sneakers I don't care what the secondary market cost is I don't care what the hype is I'm gonna rock my kicks that's just who I am Am I more excited about these than the Bread 11s? Kinda. I really am. You guys just don't know. Like, to really have a shoe that says no bad days, and to feel like you have some bad days, and to have a shoe that can perk you up just a little bit. Man, it's amazing what sneakers can do, right? All right, well, I guess it's time for me to go ahead and hit the on foot, maybe give you guys some good B-roll action of this sneaker. Please let me know who do you think won the trade? The individual who got my 2013 bread won or me who got the 2019 New Balance 997S Bodega No Bad Days. Please let me know in the comment section. As always, if you are subscribed, let's make sure we engage in the comment section. If you're brand new here and you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. I thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Hopefully you guys check out Astro X Lab because I know a lot of you already know where to sell your sneakers, whether they be used on GOAT or brand new dead stock on StockX. But guess what? Sometimes you have shoes in your closet that can act as currency. Don't let that go to waste. Use your shoes to get other shoes that you want. That's all I'm saying.